Hello and welcome to the Sydney office and to our corporate training this evening. We have a wonderful guest for you tonight, Diamond from the US, Kimmy Brook. She's the author of the book, Four Year Career. Please enjoy. tonight to have a very, very special diamond to speak with us. This is Kimmy Brook, who we've heard a lot about in my short time with Young Living. I've heard so much about Kimmy. And we're so excited to be able to share her wealth of knowledge with everybody. Um, Kimmy and her husband, Richard Bliss Brook, did I get that right? Yes. Great. Um, are building the most amazing business within Young Living. They've had an opportunity to be to really go anywhere within the network marketing industry and they've chosen Young Living so we're very, very honoured. Kimmy is someone who works closely with people, she mentors, she, is, uh, she loves leadership and she's great with empowering other women. She's also an author of the four year <laughs> career. Did I get For it? women. For women. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I could keep rambling on, but look, we're very excited to have Kimmy here tonight. So please let us all put our hands together and welcome Kimmy Brook. Thank you. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Awesome. It's good to be here with you guys. If I start getting a little loopy, it's because it's about maybe three or four in the morning my time. So bear with me. But I've been so excited to come here. I love Australia. I'm going to tell you guys about myself, how I got involved in network marketing, and why Richard and I chose Young Living as our final resting home. So I am from Hawaii. I grew up in Honolulu. It's that teeny little island in the middle of the sea. And I can tell you guys that as a kid, Australia was like the coolest place on the planet. Everybody with your accents and then of course Crocodile Dundee made it really official. And then I got to start coming here because of network marketing. So I'll fill you in on that. But when I was 40 years old, I found myself newly divorced. I found myself financially strapped and I found myself solely responsible for my daughter. So it was a really stressful time for me. I was working in her school as a fundraiser and and the pleasure of working there. Can you guys see this? Am I blocking it? Um, the pleasure of me working there was that my daughter got to go to school for free. So the tuition was really expensive. And by me having a job there, she got to have a free education at an amazing school. But my income, this is bi-monthly, my income was $2,000 a month. And my rent was $2,500 a month. So I was sinking further and further into debt. Anybody ever feel like that? The ship that's sinking, that's what I felt like. Anybody ever feel like this? Ah, what am I gonna do? That's what I felt like. And you know, I, I was really living that, that life of get, getting paid, um, trading my dollars for hours, right? So I worked four hours, I got paid for four hours. I wasn't aware of the concept called leverage until my awesome sister Lisa introduced me to it. So that's my sister Lisa, that was my daughter when she was just a little one. That's right when I got introduced to network marketing. And uh, my sister was just such a gift to me for two reasons. Number one, she introduced me to the profession of network marketing. And number two, when I was financially struggling, she offered to take my daughter to Italy with her for the summer. Now, that was the, that was the summer that I said yes to joining this profession. And the reason I said yes is as I was boarding Haley on a plane to go to my sister, she was 11 years old, we'd never been separated before, I had to stay and work, I didn't get time off, I couldn't afford to go to Italy. Um, she, my, my, my daughter texted me from the airplane and she said, mom, you know, have any of you ever, do you guys have the rule here where you have to assist your child and stay till the flight leaves? Okay, torture for a, a mom, right? The first time your daughter's leaving, the plane's leaving and you have to watch and I get this text and then she actually calls me from the plane, I forgot my jacket. <laughs> so I was like, ah. And so um, I called my sister from the car and I said, you know what? She had mentioned this thing she was doing and I said, I don't know what 
the thing is, but I, I really, I want to join. And I didn't see a presentation. I didn't have any clue what I was joining. All I knew is I wanted a different life. I knew I wanted more for my daughter. I knew I wanted to be able to create something for she and I where I wasn't sticking my daughter in programs or daycares or camps and missing out on the time with her. And there was just already so much time that I had lost out on. And so I, I became aware of this idea called leverage, where instead of me working four hours and getting paid four dollars, or not four dollars, well kind of, that's what it was like, um, I, would, I, I could also share with friends and then instead of it just being me, all of us together could be working 20 hours. Each of us each working four hours, 20 hours, right? So that's where leverage really hit the idea for me. And so I, I took off running in this idea of network marketing, still not really sure what I was doing. Actually, have any of you guys ever had that feeling of like, what have I done? You know, I joined the company and then I was like, buyer's remorse. Ah, I don't wanna do this. I'm working 60 hours a week. I don't have any free time. What the heck have I signed up for? And my sister said, don't worry, I'll connect you with our upline, right? I'll connect you with a leader who's having success. And so that's one of the coolest things about this business is you actually get to be trained and mentored by people who have had success ahead of you, right? So I got connected to my upline leader and he gave me an idea to read an amazing book. So if you guys haven't read the book Beach Money by Jordan Adler, I highly recommend that you get that one for your reading list. And in the book Beach Money, first of all, being in Hawaii, you know, I would sit at my desk and I'd look out. I had um, on my computer, I had a webcam that looked into the beach and I got to watch all these people surfing. I would actually, I would basically torture myself. I'd watch people surfing from my webcam at my desk and I'd feel so sorry for myself saying, how do they get to be out there while I'm in here? So when I got the book Beach Money, I was like, this is perfect. I'm gonna create my own beach money. And one of his tips was going to meet with somebody every single day for 30 minutes a day and share the business. And so I thought, well, gosh, I can do that, I have a lunch break. And this is where it all began for me, you guys, at my Lucky Thai restaurant. I went there every day for three months during my work days, so five days a week, every day for three months, and met with a new friend. Now, does anybody know what this is? What did you say? Someone said a seed. a seed. Very good. It kind of looks like a marble to me. <laughs> this is actually the product I was sharing. It was a chia seed, okay? And the chia seed was actually split, so it didn't look exactly like this. But I started sharing the chia seed with people at my lunch break. Every day I'd go to the same place, I'd talk about my business, I'd talk about the excitement being in Hawaii. I thought I was the very first person to know about the chia seeds. I wasn't, but I thought so. And so all of a sudden, that leverage started kicking in, right? So I had four friends who said, yes, I'll join you. And then all of a sudden, they were doing the same thing and the team started duplicating. And I went from four to 16 to 64 to 256 and it continued to grow and grow and grow. And you know, we call it a four-year career, the four-year career for women, the four-year career, because it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. This is called geometric progression. And this is the beauty of our business in network marketing. Now, I know a lot of people in Young Living are much more comfortable about the product side versus the business side, but I am super passionate about both. I'm passionate about showing people how they can create their four-year career through geometric progression and leverage. So this was BR before Richard, okay? However, I wish I had the little beeper thing to show you guys. He's the only, well, he's not the only guy, but he's right there. So Richard and I were invited to speak at an event together, a, a live cast. These are all some very successful network marketers in the profession, all different companies. And so we all spoke at this awesome event. And then I heard that Richard the next day was gonna be doing a vision workshop. He, he does vision workshops, and so Richard is um, very well known in our profession. He's actually been involved in network marketing for 40 years. He is on the ethics committee of the DSA, the Direct Selling Association, and he came from being a chicken chopper. So he, you know, he's kind of exaggerating here. He's on stage telling his story about being a chicken chopper, but you know what? He did not go to college, and I know here in <coughs> Australia, not everybody goes off to uni, but in the United States, many people go off to college, right? It's like you you go to high school, you go to college, you get a job. That's kind of our path in the United States. So he 
got done with high school barely, barely passed his senior year, and he went into chopping chickens at a chicken plant. And he actually loved it, believe it or not. He loved it. And what happened is, uh, a, a little ways into his career, he was told, the, the upper management decided that unless you had a college degree, you couldn't keep moving up. And the reality is, Richard was about to, uh, right now, this year, he would be retiring as a chicken chopper, but his vision was to be at the top of the chicken chopper chain, right? Um, but we're just so happy that that happened for him because then he, had, he was open. And really, that's kind of one of the things that happens for people in this profession. It's about being open at the right time, right? It comes to you, and at the right time, you're open. And if you're not open, then it's not the right time. So the timing for him was perfect. He decided to get started, and he um, wrote this book called The Four-Year Career. I love this quote from him. Would you rather spend 40 years building someone else's dream or four years building your own? And so the thing I love, remember, this was still BR. This was before Richard and I were together, but I knew his work and it really spoke to me because his work was about creating a four-year career for yourself, eliminating the hype, eliminating the get, na get in now, get rich quick, and really coming from a place of honoring people, listening to people, and doing our profession in a way that felt good to people who are on the outside looking in, right? Have any of you ever been approached by somebody and it doesn't feel good? It's kind of like icky or they're like, you, you see them coming, you're like, oh my gosh, here they come again. Or you look on the phone, here they're calling me again, right? So Richard's vision is to change the way we do the profession so that people from the outside looking in, regardless if they decide to join us or not, actually say, wow, you know, it's maybe not for me, but that's a really cool thing they're doing. And so he wrote this book to help with that. And he also does vision workshops. Who was I talking with? I was talking with, some, I was talking with you, Sarah. Uh, I was she was saying, asking about what is this book, <coughs> Mock 2 with your hair on fire. I hope he doesn't see this recording, but I'm like, that's the worst title. Anyway, he loves the title. It's all about a, a jet plane going really fast. And so that's what it's about, having your hair on fire. You know, there's this idea around our vision being the story we tell ourselves day in and day out. It's not like, oh, I'm going to go feed the world, right? That's We think of vision as this huge thing. But really, our vision is the story we tell ourselves every day. So what's the story that you guys tell yourself every day? Are you like, oh my gosh, I don't want to talk about the business? Are you like, I don't have anyone to talk to? No one will listen to me. This is the best thing on the planet. And whatever that story is that's going through your head over and over again, that's your current vision. And so he wrote this book to help people change that vision. Vision. And so I went to his vision workshop. So let me backtrack here. BR right here. Okay. BR next day is Richard's vision workshop right here. And kind of looks like we're actually a couple, doesn't it? But we're not. This was just the first photo, like the first hug. And it was like a premonition of what things to come. It was at this event when I got to hear his work, hear his style, and really work on my vision that I decided I wanted to hire Richard as my coach. And uh, he did a fabulous job of coaching me coached me right into falling in love with him. Actually, I fell in love with him all on my own. But this was at a time when my business was rocking and rolling. I was on the top of the world. Everything was going along just great. And then all of a sudden, have you guys ever had this? Everything just seems amazing. And then boom, you just hit a wall. Totally hit a wall, crash and burn upside down. Well, guess what? I woke up one day and literally my company, the Chia Seed Company, decided that they were going to no longer be in business. And my world came Came crashing down and you know what that's life that happens in business right and so at that same time Richard and I were falling in love we were having a really great relationship and so I moved along into joining Richard's company <laughs> Richard was the owner of his own network marketing company and so all of a sudden I found myself becoming an owner not a builder but an owner actually an owner and a builder because I did both I'm passionate about building in this profession so all of a sudden we became owners together working together and we had our hair on fire we practiced what we preached and uh, it was hard work. I got to tell you guys, being a builder is so much more fun than being an owner, okay? You don't ever get to leave it when you own the company. It is there with you day in, day out. It is a huge responsibility and it is a lot of work. And so 
In addition to owning our own network marketing company, we also owned our own coaching business called Bliss Business. You guys may be familiar with it. Richard does a podcast every Wednesday night. It's free. I encourage you guys. If I, It would probably be your Thursday day that it's on live, but you can listen to the recordings. You can go to blissbusiness.com. And he interviews people in all different companies generically and gets to hear their, their tips, right? They're called hero calls because these are heroes. These are people who have built a four-year career. And so what I know to be true is that by listening to these calls you get inspired and you hear a nugget here and there and you think wow I can't wait for my hero call right so I encourage you guys to plug into these they're an awesome source um, but anyways so we owned both of these companies and so Richard and I started coaching people outside of our own company generically and it was really interesting because there was a common theme that was happening for us. I actually got hired to coach a bunch of Young Living women. I had a program called 25 Days of Expansion. And so I would run this program with new groups of Young Living women. Richard was coaching someone who I'm going to tell you about in a second. And we kept coming back to each other, scratching our head because we were not seeing in our company what these young living people were seeing. We were having lots of struggles. And even though some of the people on the call didn't know about business necessarily and how to build a business, they were still having success. And people were joining them. And they weren't having a problem getting people to their classes. And we were like, we can't get anybody to come to ours and we know how to invite really well. What are we doing wrong? How many of you guys know this guy? Yes, give us a woo, I love this guy. He's amazing. So Adam Green was 20, I think 23, or maybe 22 or 23 when he reached out to my husband. It was actually right as Richard and I were starting our relationship and he got a phone call from Adam and Adam said, can I come and have breakfast with you? So here's a great tip for you. Regardless if you're in the business right now or you're not in the business, if you're inspired to be more, do more in your life, if there's someone who inspires you, I encourage you to give them a call and ask them if you can take them for breakfast and show up with questions, right? Be ready to ask questions. Be ready to dig in and find out what makes them tick and how they got to where they were. And Adam did this. He drove eight hours from Canada to have breakfast with my husband and turned around after an hour and drove eight hours back. This kid is driven. I've never met anybody like him. He's amazing, okay? So he shows up and he asks, at the time, let's see here, at the time he was a silver, okay? So he shows up as a silver and it's so funny, I tease him, he doesn't even know I say this, but on here it says that the average silver earns 2,200 a month. Well, Adam was below average because he was earning about 1,500 a month. Can you imagine Adam Green being below average? Well, he was. So he shows up and he's like, I want to go full time, right? He was a personal trainer. He was realizing that being a personal trainer was a lot of work. It was really taking from him and that he was excited to go full time. And so he asked my husband a bunch of questions, you know, just all sorts of things. And he left that meeting and went back and started implementing the ideas of the four-year career. So if you guys haven't read the four-year career, big tip, read it and share it with your team okay Adam took that book home and started sharing it with everybody in his team and what happened is his team started understanding the business model and started believing in the business model because what we know to be true is that it's never about not believing in your products it's generally not about not believing in your leadership or the company it's about believing in the profession of network marketing and so when you can in, in empower your team to understand the model then all of a sudden the whole world opens up and that's exactly what happened for Adam and his team. He started sharing the book with everybody in his team. And over the next four years, he went from being a silver to a royal crown diamond. Now, I don't know if you guys have an income disclosure statement in front of you. Um, you can see the average earning of a royal crown diamond. He lived and breathed and exemplified the four-year career to a T. Okay? And everybody in this room can do the same thing. So, so we were fascinated we were just still like trudging along, totally determined, you know, because we wanted to do our company in that right way and we wanted to have no hype and we wanted to do it where um, people felt honored and yet we just weren't growing. It was painful. And we had made a promise to our people that we simply weren't delivering. We weren't delivering the four-year career. And here we see Young Living just blossoming and flourishing and wow, everything just amazing. And then Richard and I got on a call with Adam and we had a chance to talk about his statistics. My husband and Richard both are numbers people. I'm not really, but you know, in order to be with my husband, I've had to learn to be a numbers person because he's like, if you're not doing the numbers, you're not doing the business. So 
something that fascinated us was this 54%, okay? 54%. 54% is the retention rate that Adam was seeing in his team. 54% of his people were on essential rewards. Now you guys might or might not know that essential rewards is the backbone of our business. Adam had 54%. Guess what we had? Just like the eight ball, we had 8%. 8% in our company, and our products were amazing, elite, nutrition, high quality, super expensive, very narrow focus, 8% retention rate. And there are a lot of companies out there that are big, big, big companies that are even lower than that, okay? So we're like, okay, 54%, 8%, 54%, 8%, 54%, 8%, 8%. Hmm. Then we saw this number, 94%. 94%, now it says distributors, but really 94% of the people in Young Living are customers. That says that the 94% would be using these products even if they weren't going to make a penny off of earning a commission on Young Living. And that is so rare in our profession, you guys. Generally, most people will join, and yes, they fall in love with the products, but you know what? They fall in love with the products, and then they get a check, and then they're really in love with the products. And then if their check stops, a lot of times, they go to the 8% retention rate, and they fall off the products, okay? So 54 versus 8. 94%, huge numbers. So we're like, okay. My husband and I, we do a check-in every so often about, okay, like our goals, our path, our service to our people. And we just came to a reality that we were not living the dream we promised everyone. And our people weren't getting access to that either. And we were having good people start to leave and we knew there was something wrong. And so we decided, especially my husband, because it was really his baby before it was my baby, we decided to hang up our hat of our vision of being the owners of this dynamic, amazing network marketing company. And we knew that we could actually create the same vision right here in Young Living. So we decided to join Young Living. And it was the most amazing experience our whole team, I was telling Brenda the other day, uh, we went to yoga, and um, I was telling her after that I think almost every person in our company who was active and building and engaged moved over with us. They all saw how amazing it was here. And the people who are here with us building, they're actually having success here. And they're having fun. And it's just been the most incredible experience for us. So. You guys in the room, how many of you became involved with Young Living because of the products? How many, let me try the other way, how many became involved with Young Living because of the business? How many of you are not yet involved in Young Living and trying to figure it out if you want to be? How many of you wouldn't raise your hand no matter what I asked? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, well, this is probably the face you're all going to make when I tell you that we did not join Young Living because we had fallen head over heels in love with the oils. Ah! Yeah, we hadn't. We fell head over heels in love with what Young Living could provide for our people. We fell head over heels in love with the fact that all of a sudden I got to be here in Australia again. You know, my original company, actually, I got to build in Australia. All of a sudden we're international. Do you guys know how lucky you are to be able to grow all over the world? Absolutely amazing. So we decided, gosh, we gotta start learning these products. So I'm gonna go through quickly with you guys the way that we use the oils. I'm not doing a class, um, you know, we're, we're newbies. We've been in the company for three months and we've been busting our okolis, as we say in Hawaiian, that's your <laughs> bum, uh, ever since we came on board because we just love watching the way it lights people up in our team. But um, I still have so much to learn. I think the thing I love most about Young Living is it's, a, it's gonna be truly a life of learning here. Like I'm going up to Cans with Kel Bruce to do the raindrop therapy. How many of you guys, anyone gonna be here? You're already a practitioner. You're gonna be there? I'm so excited. And then I'm going to beauty school in Utah in December and I'm just gonna suck in everything I possibly can. Not so that I can be the know-it-all of everything, but I love it, it's so cool. Continue to learn, continue to learn, continue to learn. That is my goal in life, is to be a lifelong learner. And here in Young Living, you can do that. You can't do that in a lot of other companies, right? So right now, I'm just gonna share with you guys, I, like probably every single one of you could get up here and do an amazing class. 
So I'm not gonna try to compete with you guys. I'm just gonna share what Richard and I have discovered together with what we love about the oils. First of all, because I think we do have some guests in here, so I want you, the guests, to understand the value of these oils. Um, there's <coughs> single oils, and then there's blends of oils, and they're all right here. So for any of you who have not had a chance to ever smell the oils, I'm not passing them around, but you can come up afterwards and check out the oils and see which ones you like. The thing I love, you guys, <coughs> what, that Young Living has done, is they've actually made it so simple for people to just use these oils in everyday use. Just get com comfortable with them, play with them, Figure out what you like. It doesn't have to be that you have a PhD oil or oil arammer, right? I just made up that word, obviously. <laughs> um, so we've got blends and we've got singles, and you can use these oils topically and you can use them aromatically. You know what's so interesting too is everywhere around the world it's different. So in the United States we can do different things than we can do here. And so what's great as you guys start to grow your teams because here's the deal. Uh, let's see, I'm not gonna go back, but remember all those people, the geometric progressions? So just because you're here in Australia does not mean your team is necessarily gonna stay here in Australia. It's definitely going to the United States and it's definitely going on to Europe from there and then over to Japan and then maybe over to Bali. That's just how this business model works, right? You can't stop it even if you want to. That's the cool part about this. So you're gonna start being like, wow, like you guys have some really cool stuff we don't have in the United States that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit here. So lemon, uh, I love lemon. Who doesn't love lemon? It smells amazing, makes you feel fresh, right? Smells so great. And I gotta tell you guys, I was in Adam Green's brand new Mercedes that he bought Vanessa. And all he talked about the whole time we were driving in that brand new Mercedes was his brand new Mercedes. You know, the pride of his pr new purchase. And so he opens the door to get us out. It's this convertible, there's like two doors. So I get out and I'm like trying to get out of the back seat and my foot's stuck to the ground, and I'm like, what's going on? And I'd stepped on a giant wad of gum, okay? And it's all over the back of Adam Green's brand new Mercedes. <laughs> so I'm like, do I tell him, or what do I do? Adam, I'm so sorry, I got gum all over. You should've seen his face. He was trying to act like he wasn't upset. He was so upset. Okay, so I'm like, okay, lemon. I need lemon, can I use the lemon? And I just doused it with lemon. Gum gone, gum be gone, okay? So lemon is a go-to for that kind of stuff, for stains, and of course, just the smell in your diffuser is awesome. Peppermint, uh, Darren over here is now addicted to peppermint. We filled the diffuser with peppermint, lavender, and uh, LLP, peppermint, lavender, and lemon, lemon thank you. And uh, so we caught him over here sniffing and sniffing. I'm like, I'm gonna have to pull you away now. Go sit down, Darren. So peppermint, is just fabulous for that alert, wake up, awesome, okay? That's what we like it for. Digize, and I'm sure you guys have eight zillion other uses. Digize, uh, I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite go-tos. I have it in my bag all the time. One drop will do ya, rub it on your tummy, how does you feeling great, right? After you eat a full meal on your tummy, boom, perfect. Now, not everybody loves the smell, but I actually am really growing to love it. Frankincense, we call this, uh, this is Richard's. So Richard, you know, I told you guys, we are head over heels in love with the model of network marketing and we know that Young Living is the place to be. But, um, so he's, I'm like, okay, honey. So I start doing all these experiments with all the products and he's like, yeah. You know, cause it's kind of a big deal to get, let go of your baby, your company. So ego wise, it took him a little time to catch up with me, but I was really here and excited. And so he's like, I'm just gonna learn one oil. <laughs> frankincense, the king of all oils. <laughs> so he loves frankincense. I personally love it actually. Oh, here, you know, these are smile lines, not wrinkles, smile lines. Every night I go to bed, drops right there, frankincense. Copaiba, who in the room loves Copaiba? Cool, I wanna hear more about Copaiba from all of you. What we know is that we put it in the diffuser with most of the things we diffuse so it enhances the smells of everything else and the benefits of the other oils. That's what we use Copaiba for. Now purification is another one who has smelly teens. Anyone? Yeah? Or just smelly husbands? Or, <laughs> or you like to cook fish in your kitchen or you have smelly trash. For me, it's all about getting rid of those stinky odors. And so we've got purification diffusing all the time. Let's see, where were we? There was just a horrible smell. And I got the purification out immediately and it just was awesome. So that's why we love purification. Panaway, Richard loves Panaway because we both are massage freaks. 
it's, I hope it's okay if I say the word H-O-A-R, massage whores. We love massages, okay? Uh, love them, love them, love them. And so pan away is an excuse for him to be like, he puts his foot right in. <laughs> Come on, just a little pan away on the bottom of my feet. A couple drops, massaging, and that's what we use pan away for. RC, uh, I was just talking to, uh, I think it was all the corporate gals at lunch today. Um, RC is one that's great. Uh, you know, you guys obviously probably aren't flying to the States back and forth, but they spray the cabins. So I put some RC in my hands and just breathed it in as they're spraying. And hopefully that prevented all that stuff penetrating me. I don't know. But anyway, RC is great just for that breathing and makes you feel real good. Lavender. Okay. I think that lavender should actually be called, ah, oh, right? I mean, that's lavender. Ah, oh, Darren even brought his oh, yeah. pillow with the lavender. We are, we're, we're like the newbie oil people right here. We're obsessed with lavender. So I, I'm sure every single one of you has your own lavender story, but it's so calming, great for sleeping, and just smells amazing. And then I have to tell you guys that Stress Away is definitely my most favorite. I have the roll-on of Stress Away, and there is a roller that you put on this one, the roller filament, but I have like the tall roll-on, and this is me every day. I have bottles of it everywhere. I love it. And it's just, the name says it all, stress away. Who doesn't want stress away, right? Okay, and then thieves. I mean, there's just so many great uses for thieves, but the one that I do every single day is I rub it on my feet. I either, especially as I travel, I rub it on my feet for protection. Every day, thieves, don't go. Actually, and uh, Cal Bruce had to lend me some because I ran out, and so she brought me a little sample bottle, so I have extra. <coughs> Did you guys all have your ninja red as you came in? Yes, right, that just burst of energy. I gotta tell you, I've had a couple zings today, I do admit, I'm a zingaholic. And, uh, but the ninja red is just awesome, loaded with antioxidants, it's got fiber, it's got lutein zeaxanthin, which is awesome for your eyes, which is great for brain health. And so it's one of those things that you just wouldn't want to live without every day. And that's the Oils Premium Starter Kit right there for $259. And it's right here for those of you guys who have never tried it before. I encourage you to come on up and smell the oils, okay? And then we've got this whole idea of creating a chemical-free home. You know, being from Hawaii, it is definitely one of my passions to keep the toxicities or chemicals out of the ocean as much as possible. So when I heard that Young Living had this whole chemical-free line, I got so excited. So um, I gotta tell you guys that, let's see if I can find, I love having props. So. This guy right here is like one of my all-time favorites because I travel so much. I'm telling you, like you take this out. When I can't find it, I start freaking out. You take this and you just start spraying it around your bed. I don't know if you guys get the same kind of exposés that we get, but did you guys see the one where the, the hotels weren't changing the sheets? Okay, how gross is that, right? So thieves will actually make you feel kind of okay even if the sheets haven't been changed. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's thieves. Spray. And then um, the hand purifier oh my gosh your hands are like all and if you haven't tried this I encourage you to come on up and get some it's like your hands with the aloe it feels all moisturized instead of super dry like the ones that are the antibacterials and then you know you can see up here that word triclosan in the states they're actually banned they've already banned it in several um, states which says a lot in the United States for things to get banned and uh, also, you know, they, they, you can Google this FDA reports on triclosan and it talks about hormonal issues and then it also talks about the fact that triclosan is supposed to be antibacterial and FDA says they don't even know if that's true. So using products that don't have that in them just leaves you feeling like you're not only doing good for the environment but doing good for your body, doing good for your family and doing good for the people that you love and care about. Like who, why wouldn't you want everybody that you love and care about to use these products, right? And then, um, of course, Thieves Cleaner is just like the best. Getting rid of, how many of you guys have not yet gone through and gotten rid of the other stuff in your cabinets? You guys have all done it. Oh, some of you. Can I tell you, seriously, I, I, I like invite you to take the challenge of doing that, even just for a week. You can, you can put those favorites in like a place. If you need to get them, you can get them. But um, my friend's like, I love um, Comet. I love Comet. Do you guys have Comet here? It's like a scratchy, bleachy cleaner. I'm like, okay, just for one week. This will do your toilets, your mirrors, your windows, your floors, absolutely everything. And you can choose how much of the strength you want for stronger or more degree less or more degreasing. Um, 
And then this cap, you know, you just put it into this cap into a nice big glass spray bottle with water. So you get about 20 uses out of this one little bottle. So not only are you saving a ton on cleaning supplies, you're saving a ton on chemicals in your body, in your home, on your floors and out in the environment as well. Good for washing dogs too. Good for washing dogs. I just learned something new. <laughs> That's awesome. See, lifelong learning. And then of course the toothpaste, you know, we had massive garlic bread today. So if you guys have talked to me, I don't, ha I'm not carrying my thieves mouthwash with me. I, I gotta admit, it's like a little intense, right? <laughs> it's like an explosion of clove and cinnamon in your mouth, but it's amazing. Um, so I love the toothpaste and the mouthwash. And that is, you know, we don't have this in the States. This is a pretty cool kit. It's like got a little bit of everything. The Healthy Home Premium Starter Kit you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, is that five oils? Five, six oils and all the goodies you see here from the Thieves line. The dish soap is really good and it all smells so good. Like Thieves, you know, one of the neat things, one of the things that we've discovered, because I've been in network marketing like full, full time for eight years and you might think eight years isn't that long, but I feel like I've done about 25 in eight. Um, one of the things that I have never experienced is the ease of people falling in love with the products the way they do here. And I've always had great products. I've never seen people literally within moments of smelling an oil say, oh, I gotta have that, right? And it triggers these memories when you're smelling and so thieves, it's like holidays and it just brings up all these great emotions. And so people get really excited by that smell. And then the, the Ninja um, Premium Starter Kit. So how many of you guys love Ninja and take it every day? I know, it's so good. And have you, who, have you, do you guys ever try the Ninja Spritzer? Like Ninja in some um, Perrier Pellegrino. So good in the morning. Spritzer Just with Oh yeah, with the Zing it's amazing too. But you know, I know you guys sell out of Zing a lot so I'm trying not to heavily promote <laughs> the Zing that I'm addicted to. I actually kind of want to take some of the Zing with me but there's none here because you guys have used it all. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to be zingless for the next week and that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. But the <laughs> Ningxia starter kit, you know, it's kind of like if somebody told you that by using the Ningxia that you could just have a really great healthy life, would you not do it? Well, of course you would. And so lots of you raised your hands and so it just makes sense, it's a no brainer. And so you think about this, right? You think about you being passionate about the products and what do you do when you're passionate about products? What do you do when you get a great haircut? You easily just go and recommend it to friends, no problem, right? It's so funny when people say, oh, I don't do network marketing. Hey, you know what, you gotta go see that movie. It's like, that's network marketing, it's the same thing, but you're not getting paid. And so here, you get excited, you get passionate, and you can't help, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say, oh, the accidental paycheck. That's like the key word here, the accidental paycheck. I was so excited about my oils, I started talking, and then three friends decided they wanted them, and all of a sudden, I I got a check. Actually, I should read you guys the text from my mom that just came in before we started this. She said, Kimmy, I just got another check for $195. This is amazing. I love it. You know, <laughs> like she doesn't even know how she did it. She did it just by sharing with her friends. Okay, so that's what happens. You start sharing with your friends and then young living geometric progressions start to kick in. But again, it's not a three month career. It's not a six month career. We like to say a four year career because that's a really reasonable time for people to start seeing awesome results. So then it starts to grow and grow. And again, you know, these people are not all going to be in Australia. They're going to be all over the world. And that is the most amazing thing. Imagine being able to get on a flight over to the UK. And now the cool thing is you don't even have to if you don't want to. I happen to love travel. Richard, you know, he's done this for 40 years. So he's a little bit over the airplane rides that are eight hours or beyond. So, but I am bringing him back here because this Australia is my all time favorite. But look at that, you guys. Look at the kind of team you can create by using using leverage, right? So it's not about that nine to five. And hey, I'm not knocking a job. Jobs are great. When I got started here, all I wanted to do was make an additional $500 a month and that would have changed my life. And that's the same for many people. Lots of people love their jobs. But imagine if you could help support people in earning an extra $500 or $1,000 a month just by them being passionate about these products as well. So. Essential rewards is the blood. It's like the lifeblood of our business, right? And you just think about redirecting your spending. So, I mean, the cool thing with Young Living, like I told you guys, our company, we had four products. You couldn't really redirect your spending. It was actually asking people to spend more on things they weren't even spending money on in the first place. But here, 
People can truly redirect their spending using the laundry detergent, eating the bars, drinking the zing, drinking the ninja, um, you know, the uh, all of the dish soaps. Like you can redirect your spending and instead of going to the grocery store and buying the things that you have to use anyway, just using them through Young Living. And those are the essential rewards. And by doing that, you start to create this. You start to create the same other people doing the same thing, right? People just being on essential rewards using the products, which causes this 94% of customer consumer base, which is like unheard of in our profession. Amazing, okay? And so uh, the, the best part about Young Living is like our company didn't give you all these extra freebies back with your uh, essential rewards. Ours was called auto ship, right? Yours is called essential rewards. Young Living is essential rewards. There are so many perks to Young Living's essential rewards. It's like, honestly, I, like I told you, I've never seen anything about uh, in the profession around how easy it is for people to fall in love with the products. I've also never seen how generous a company is as Young Living. We are so lucky, okay? So let's check this out just in case you're not aware of this. Essential rewards, your, and so this is why it's really great to get on essential rewards immediately because you get more back the longer you're on. So like if you go off, oh, you start back at 10%. Your first three months, you get 10% back, right, in points to go and shop for things you want with those points you get. And then the next four to 23 months, you get 20% back. And then 24 and above, you get 25% back. You cannot get that in any grocery store anywhere, okay? You can't. Yes, you know, your credit card might give you 2% back, or I don't know, maybe Australia is different. In the United States, you cannot get this kind of, uh, it's not technically cash back, but you get my point, right? And then on top of that, as if that's not good enough, Young Living gives away freebies too, right? And so for certain tiers, depending on how much you order, you get freebies. And who doesn't love free? Is there anyone in here who doesn't love free? Oh, I thought I saw a hand going up over there. I was like, okay, that's cool. Thanks for being brave. Um, so this is so amazing. When I heard this, I was like, okay, th this is so amazing. 300 PV order. So you have to be, you know, coming into Young Living. This is not for people who are already members. This is for people who have never placed an order. You get a free PSK, a free PSK when you place 300 PV. So it's like you get to start your business and get all of this extra great product to help show other people and for you to fall in love and they give you a free PSK. And hey, it's PSK day. I like that. I thought that was funny. Okay. Um, so, and on top of that, as if getting a free PSK isn't good enough, you also get all of these other goodies because of the tiers, right? So, I mean, it's so cool. That's like no brainer, okay? You guys can just put that on every single slide you have of your own, no brainer, free PSK, 300 PV. Anyone who wants to build a business with you guys, this is a no brainer. Now, of course, there's gonna be some people who join who are like, gosh, you know what? I have, like, I know our dollars are different, so I'll just say, you know, 200 Australian dollars. Um, I don't know quite the equivalent, but, you know, so not everybody can afford this, but for anyone who truly wants to build a business, I'm gonna invite you guys to just, like, have that paradigm of, like, yeah, who wouldn't want enough products to sample out plus my PSK and all of the freebies as well. No brainer, okay? So um, if you were a guest when you came in, you were given an income disclosure statement and I would just love for you because this is pretty small for you guys to pull it out and look at it. If you didn't get one, we'll give you one on the way out and hopefully you can see this up here. I don't have the Beamer thingy doesn't work, but I always like asking people just to look and ask themselves, and even you guys who are members, like just look at the, at the dollar amount here and focus in on the dollar amount that would make a dramatic difference for you every month. What would matter to you enough for you to say, I'm all in and I am building this like a business. Like this is where I wanna be and this is what I'm gonna do. What, what dollar amount would it be? Like I told you, when I got started, it was $500 a month. And then obviously, as you start to grow a team, once you get to 500, it's a lot easier than to move up to 2,000. And then once you get to 2,000, it's a lot easier to move up to the next level, right? So you don't have to go to the one down here. You're welcome to. That's the great thing about our business is you get to choose. And also, the best part about our business is you get to press reset every single day. You get to wake up, so if you're here and you're beating yourself up, I've had a slow start, I haven't done this, da da da, it's okay, you get to start over fresh every single day. 
So you get started by placing your order. For those of you guys who are here for the first time, I would encourage you if you're excited about building a business in Young Living that you order the 300 PV so you get your free PSK. So that's how you get started. You place your order and then you start sharing with your friends, right? You have a class in your house. And I gotta tell you guys, I didn't know anything the day I did my first class. You know what I did? I pulled out the card that's inside the oil kit I read the card, I passed the oils around, everybody smelled as I read the card. And guess what I still do today? I know everything about the oils, but I keep it simple so that my friends who are not oil PhDs themselves don't feel like they have to be an oil PhD, okay? So, and I gotta tell you, our team is growing like wildfire, so it works, okay? So keeping it simple, having fun. If you guys aren't having fun, then hey, what's the point of doing this? This is meant to be fun and you're changing lives at the same time, right? And then you get to start building your four-year career. So to wrap it up, uh, I said I would never join network marketing. Anybody in here, can you relate to that? I said I would never join network marketing. I was one of those people. And <laughs> so funny, now I'm one of these people. I was one of those. And, uh, you know, I said I would never do that pyramid thing. Uh-uh, not me. And you know what? Because I said yes, I've actually been able to speak with John Maxwell. I've met Richard Branson. Like, that was a huge vision dream of mine. I've been on stage with Eric Worre. I've been on the cover of Networking Times. I've been with Seth Godin. I don't know if you guys have him here. I love him to pieces. Because I said yes to network marketing. How crazy is that? I also wrote a book. If you had asked me eight years ago, hey, Kimmy, do you think you're going to write a book? No, I would never have said I was going to write a book. I would never have said I'd be up on stage talking to people. But because I said yes to network marketing, all these doors opened for me that I just couldn't have possibly even dreamed of. And it, you know what is so cool about my book, you guys, is proceeds go to supporting women who are less fortunate. And actually, so if I think there were 100 books shipped here tonight, so if those 100 books actually sold, you guys have now actually um, empowered one woman's life for 18 months. She goes through a program. It's in Guatemala. And by you just using these books, reading it yourself or sharing it, you now have contributed to somebody else's life as well. So that's pretty powerful. I also said I would never, ever get remarried and uh, I got remarried and actually it was a surprise wedding I didn't know I was getting married but <laughs> it was the best surprise I've ever had and because of that my husband and I now live on a smaller island called Lanai population 3000 and we live in our dream home with unobstructed ocean view and my daughter is still my pride and joy and my driving force behind absolutely every single thing I do I also said I would never, ever, ever do more than the first company I joined. That was my thing. Never, ever, ever, ever would I be in another company. And hey, you know what? SHIT happens and you never know what's going to come your way. And I'm so glad that that stuff happened. I feel like everything in my past primed me and prepped me for being in my final resting spot here in Young Living. So we're growing a team all over the world, and you guys can too. And so I just want to encourage you guys as well to never say never and be open to the possibilities for you, your life, Young Living, your teams, the lives you're going to empower, change, the books you're going to write, the people you're going to speak with, the stages you're going to be on. You just don't know. And it all can start right here tonight. So... Um, these guys have been amazing. These corporate people are just awesome. Can we give them a hand? Because like, they could all be home right now and they're here to support us. So how cool is that? And they've also agreed to have the store opened. So if anyone is here brand new and you guys want to place an order for your PSK or your 300 PV to get your free PSK, I'm going to encourage you to, there's actually forms right here, but you can also just on your phone, go to youngliving.com. Uh, you can go right here, youngliving.com forward slash EU underscore AU. Is that right? I think that's right. And uh, you can actually place an order, but what you want to make sure you guys do if you place an order is that you select... Um, let's see here. I'm just going to skip through these. You want to select Sydney product pickup as your shipping so that you can go and pick it up right here. You can also just walk out there, place your order on the computer out there and go over and pick it up from the office or is it called will call here? Will call? Cool. Yeah. 
Um, so I encourage you guys to go ahead and look through the product guide and see what excites you. If you're gonna do the 300 PSK, then you're gonna wanna know, well, what the heck should I order? And I just I invite you to think about redirecting your spending. Okay, what do I order normally? Laundry detergent, there's amazing granola. I know there's no zing right now, but it's my favorite. So if you can order zing and maybe get on a list to get it as soon as you can, it's a natural energy <coughs> drink. It's a healthy energy drink. Um, of course, Ninja Red you could add to your 300 PV. You can order the Thieves line to your 300 PV. So if you have questions on what you should place, we're here, you can ask us. And uh, I just wanna thank you guys so much for joining me this evening. This is the start of my Australia tour with my team of two. And I'm very proud. Thank you guys very much.